we actually asked Justin to prepare a testimony. And so I'm going to have you share now uh, just what God's been doing in your life, what led up to this moment. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Happy Easter. Yeah. Uh, my name is Justin Turner, and I stand before you today to share my testimony of faith. Uh, before encountering Christ, my life was covered in darkness and despair. Mm. Uh, the pain of a broken spine and loss of my children uh, left me feeling burdened and in a sense of complete hopelessness. Uh, when I was at my lowest point, my friend Daniel shared the gospel with me, uh, with Jesus, and he gave me my first Bible with the passage Matthew eleven twenty eight to 30 highlighted in it. Hmm. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. Amen. And you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And since embracing Christ as my Lord and Savior, a major shift has occurred in my life. Uh, I no longer feel overwhelmed and in despair constantly. Uh, and uh, even though my struggles persist, uh, yeah. I turn to the gospel and the teachings of Jesus and... Uh, Sorry, I lost my place. You're good, brother. Uh, and I find rest in his easy yoke. And um, mm. I stand before you today and with my heart filled longing to draw nearer to Christ. Uh, I recognize the significance of baptism as a symbol of renewal and rebirth, um, a tangible expression of commitment to follow in the footsteps of my Savior. Through Jesus, I found the path to eternal life. And guided by his perfect and wondrous teachings with unwavering faith, I look forward to the promise of spending eternity in the presence of my beloved Lord. That's amazing. That's amazing. Can you get his towel ready. All right, let's bring you up here. You're gonna be facing that direction. Okay. Wonderful. Exactly. There you are. All right. Go ahead and kind of get on your. Yes. Yeah, sit down. Perfect. All right, Justin. It's not as bad as a cold plunge, but uh, it's pretty close. <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> the Jesus who died, was buried, and rose again on our behalf. Who is he your Lord and Savior? Yes, he is. Amen, amen. Upon your public profession of faith in Jesus, I baptize you, Justin, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of Christ, raised to walk in a new life. Thanks for not hugging me. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought about it. Yeah, you did. I saw it. At this time, we actually love the Powells to come up. It's a huge day for Leo. And so if Derek and BB can come on up as well. So the Powells, I've technically known Derek for a, a long time. And uh, it's been such a grace to have them a part of our community the last few months. And uh, Leo, we had a conversation with him and really believed it was his time to take that step of obedience. Uh, it really sounds like there's a lot of urgency, right? Like, come on, God's calling me to get baptized. Let's do this. And so we're so excited for that. We also have a testimony prepared as well. Also, we're actually going to have their parents do the baptizing. We believe in disciples making disciples. This isn't just a pastor's job. Amen. In the Great Commission, he called all people to teach and to baptize. And so the Powells are going to be the ones doing the baptizing. So go ahead and, and read Leo's story. My name is Derek, and this is my wife, Bibi, and uh, this is uh, Leo's story. Uh, hey, everyone. My name is Leo Powell, and I stand before you today to share my testimony of faith. Before I knew Christ, expressing my feelings was a challenge. I often felt unheard and misunderstood, but through Jesus, I found a voice. He preached to thousands, showing me that if he could communicate with so many, I could speak to at least one. Jesus has made me feel heard understood and given me courage to speak and share my heart. My journey to knowing Jesus as my Lord and Savior has been a winding road guided by church, the Bible, and the loving influence of my parents. However, it was a series of books that truly opened my eyes to who Jesus is. The last book detailed Jesus' final days, and when I finished it, I felt so different. Jesus died for me. Mm. Why shouldn't I be the one to die? Who else would want to be mistreated and die for someone they haven't even met? I wouldn't do that. After reading everything Jesus went through, it made me think, if he would do that, that's a good king. Mm. If he died for me, I would follow him. Since embracing Jesus as my Savior, my life has been transformed. I once struggled to understand the miracles and teachings of Jesus, but through studying the Bible, I have grown in my faith and trust in God's word. I now find strength and reassurance in knowing that Jesus is who he says he is, and his promises are true. As I stand here to get baptized, um, I, I do so with a deep desire to publicly declare my faith in Christ. Baptism symbolizes my commitment to follow Jesus and signifies my identity as a Christian. It is my way of sharing Jesus 
uh, with all of you that I have chosen to walk this journey of faith alongside Jesus. Amen. Amen. Gonna face that way. Baptize you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried in the likeness of Christ, raised to walk in newness again. Yeah! Let's go! Amen. Amen. I love that. There's no greater joy than to see a parent baptizing his children. Amen. That's awesome. So we're actually going to start with, we have two more to, uh, for this service, Samuel. So if Sammy can come forward. Awesome. Everybody clap for him as he heads up. So Samuel's amazing. You don't have to get in the water yet, but yeah, you can take those, those Crocs off. Those are cool. Uh, Samuel came to me a couple weeks ago and said, you really feel like the Lord's calling you uh, to get baptized. So he worked through the blue booklet and filled out the, the testimonial. I'm just so encouraged by him. Just, I think in his story, just, he just sees how Jesus is king. Amen. He is the boss of his life. And so whatever Jesus says to do, he's going to do it. And so such a beautiful picture. He was talking about how sin has separated him from God, but because of Christ, we're put back together. And so today is a very important today. If you guys see those light bulbs in the back, we have uh, these Jesus letters. There's 200 sockets in there and all, every light bulb represents a baptism we've had at our church. So he was able to put, his name is Samuel. So of course, which letter did you pick? For your light bulb, the S. Yeah, exactly. All right, so if you can go ahead and head in, you're going to face that direction, face that way. I know this is cold, but the Jordan River is even colder, I promise. <laughs> I've done it before. All right, so come on and come up right here. All right, Samuel, is Jesus your Lord? Yes. Yes, upon your public profession of faith in Jesus, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and hold your nose. Buried in the likeness of Christ, raised to walk in a new life. And thanks for not hugging me. I appreciate it. <laughs> this next one's going to be pretty hard not to hug. Selah, our very own middle child. Uh-oh, I'm losing it. You're going to lose it. We actually have her testimony written, and so my wife is going to attempt to read it out loud. Attempt, I will. Um, hey, everyone. My name is Sayla Van Camp, and I'm so excited to tell you about why I want to get baptized this Easter. I've always loved going to church because my, my dad is a pastor and being part of a church family feels like home. I've seen my friends getting baptized and it made me curious about what it means. I've learned a lot about Jesus at school, church, and from my parents. I learned that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and that he loves us and cares about us. I'm thankful he's forgiven my sins, like hurting people, not being kind, and sneaking stuff. <laughs> Since I started following Jesus, I felt so much love in my heart. I love God, my family, and everyone around me even more. I like talking to God when things are tough or when I'm sad because he always listens and he is always there for me. Getting baptized is something God wants me to do and I want to show everyone that I've asked Jesus to be in my heart. And when I think about being with Jesus in heaven, I know it's going to be amazing because he loves me so much. It's not because I'm perfect, but because Jesus is perfect and he saved me. Thanks for listening to my story. I'm so happy to share this special moment with you all. That's awesome. So it's really special. We really consider it, you know, this is on the age of being young to get baptized. I was baptized at this age. My mom was baptized at this age. My grandmother was baptized at this age. And I think it really, uh, we've been asking her, she's been asking us a lot of questions this past year. And we've really seen the fruit in her life of loving the Lord and loving other people. Her prayer life, y'all, you just watch out. She is a prayer warrior. And so we're so grateful for this special day. All right, Sayla, we're going to actually baptize you this time. All right. She tries to get me to baptize her in the bathtub all the time. But I said, not yet. That doesn't count. One time I cleaned her hair. She goes, you baptized me. I said, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. All right, go ahead and go on your knees. Yeah. All right, Selah. Is Jesus your Lord and Savior? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, because of your profession of faith in Jesus, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Grab your nose for this one too. Buried in the likeness of Christ, raised to walk in a new life. 